Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to some more new Super Mario Bros. U. In the last part, we started on the game and World 1, and in this part, we'll be starting on Crushing Cog's Tower and probably even finishing up World 1. So, Crushing Cog's Tower here. This is the first of the tower levels, I guess. They're sort of like, uh, well, they hold the mini bosses of the game for Star Coins up here, by the way. That one always gets me. I don't know. I just usually never see it or think to look for it up there, even though there's coins pointing towards it. Uh, yeah, so towers, they're, they hold the mini-boss. If you saw on the top there, I'm gonna keep fire, by the way, just cuz. Actually, you know what, I, I can show off ice, I can show off the ice flower just because it's not been in the game yet. Ice flowers, if you throw them, they can, they go just like, I, or fire flowers, except they can kill dry bones. You can pick up a dry bones by, uh, holding Y and pressing R or shaking the Wiimote, or, I'm not really sure what the Wiimote controls are. Um, the game, the pro controller controls are basically the same as the gamepad controls. So if you want to know the Wiimote controls, just look it up or something. Uh, yeah, some, usually they have on-screen prompts, like down there, where I, when I picked up the dry bones that said what to do. Like, I think it'll, it might here too. Well, no, I don't think it did, but you get the idea. Anyway, yes, Boom Boom, he is, yeah, he's the mini-boss. I've done two out of the three games the Boom Boom's in now, the other one being Super Mario 3D Land, and I can't really record that because I, I don't have a 3DS capture board thing, and I don't really plan on getting one anytime soon, because I really don't have the need to record DS games or 3DS games. But yeah, second star coin up here, Boom Boom, mini boss, and it's also sort of like a checkpoint that you know like you're midway through the, through the world. Although this this time it comes like right after the second level, so I wouldn't say it's exactly midway, but it, it shows you basically like a checkpoint, and I love that detailing of Bowser Jr. on bottom there. I sort of scrolled past it a little fast just because of that gear there, which by the way is the main the main uh, gimmick of this level. Obviously, if you can tell, crushing cogs tower, crushing cogs being these gear things. Yeah, so these gears I'll try to crush you. Oh. No, no, no. Don't get squished in between the wall there like I was almost doing twice. That is a bad idea. Third star coin is down here. This is a cannon pipe. It won't take you anywhere. It'll just launch you up. And if you freeze his dry bones, then throw him that way. And then keep scrolling and watch him go. You will get two one-ups. You can also throw the dry bones above him just to get one one-up. But, you know, I'd rather have two than one. Oh, and also, at all these boss doors by, uh... In a tower and a regular castle, which we'll be getting to at the end of the world, there will usually be power-ups, usually a fire flower, an ice flower, or something at the side of there. So you want to make sure you check for those. And here we go. Here is the boss. Well, mini-boss of the world. It's the boss of the tower. Boom, boom, I've missed you. Oh, you've not really improved at all since Mario 3. Even though Super Mario 3D Land came out before this, but I don't really count that because this is sort of like 2D. Basically, strategy, I already defeated him. You want to make sure you stomp on him. He does like a arm flailing at you. You want to dodge that, jump on him. Then right when he gets back up, jump back on him just so he doesn't have any time to attack you whatsoever. Basically the same strategy as in Super Mario Th Bros. 3. So yeah, that unlocks the next, w the, the next level. And oh yeah, I forgot about this. You can use Miiverse to share your thoughts and stuff. Yeah, like if you fail repeatedly, it'll give you advice from other players. Uh, yeah, sure. I really don't want to post because I don't want to interrupt that, plus my gamepad is... I'm not using the gamepad, so I'm not going to post. Um, I will show the stuff, though. But yeah, I already have Miiverse set up. Save? Yeah, sure. Uh, like, I, I don't think it'll show up now, and also sometimes items will randomly appear on the map screen, like an acorn did there. But, um, yeah. Oh, wait, there's a post down there. Who is this? I don't know. Who is it? Uh, Tyler. Scribbles. Cleared Valid Taking Damage. Yeah, you'll have the option to post whenever you do, like, special achievements within a level, like, Cleared Without Taking Damage, Cleared Within, like, 50 seconds or something, or maybe that's just a new Super Luigi, I don't know. Who's this? I ran through it without taking any damage. I'm like a ninja. Hiya. Yeah. Also, if, I guess I could mention this, if anyone's picture does happen to appear when I'm reading something, or if you just see it in a balloon there on Miiverse, be sure to tell me in the comments, because I, I don't know who's everyone who everyone's me is obviously so that'd be kind of cool oh i almost got hit there by you monty mole yes monty moles they will jump out of the out of the background there so that could be, they can be kind of hard to dodge and yoshi yoshi oh my gosh i love you so much 
You're so awesome. There's the first star coin. I don't think you need Yoshi to get that. You might be able to make a running jump off of that platform there, but I usually just use Yoshi because why wouldn't you use Yoshi? <laughs> yeah, he can also eat most things by pressing the Y button. I'm, well, or Y or X because, yeah. I'm using the Pro Controller. From now on, I think I'm just going to be explaining the Pro Controller controls. Uh, yeah, because it's basically the same as the gamepad controls, and yeah. I actually don't know how you would get up there. Maybe there's a... Oh, there's a thing up here. I didn't know this was here. Wow, there's stuff up here. Who knew? Not me, apparently. <laughs> Coins, wow. That's great. Now I can b b butt smash into there, yeah. Okay, so Yoshi controls. You can press Y or X to to lick stuff up. You can uh, flutter jump by holding the jump button after you jump. And Yoshi can also stomp on sharp things like piranha plants like this. And I think you'll also get some added height with that too, so that's good. So, and he can also eat, ber eat berries like this. Once he, gains fi once he gets five berries, he'll spit out, or actually he'll poop out a power-up. Or a life, if you already have a power-up. If you throw a Koopa shell like that, you will get a one-up. He can uh, eat most things, and for Koopa shells, and I think Buzzy Beetles too, if he ever appears in the same level as a Buzzy Beetle, he will, uh, Buzzy Beetle shells and Koopa shells, he will just spit them back out. So you want to make sure you be wary of that because he won't eat them whole. Well, he might if you leave him in your mouth, in his mouth long enough. I'm not really sure. Yeah, as you saw back there, I got an ice flower from eating uh, a lot of power-ups. But I, I didn't really want it that much. And oh, also this. Y y Yoshi can, like, store power-ups in his mouth. But it was just kind of weird. I don't know why, like, you can't absorb it, like, pre pressing down or anything. He just spits it back out. It's kind of weird. I don't know why that happens, really. But it does, so yeah, that's there. If, if you want to store a power-up or something, I guess. Whoa. These, yeah, these Monty Moles can kind of, like, disorienting, I guess. Not really disorienting, just sort of, like... Uh, I don't know. Just, like, hard to dodge, I guess. That would be kind of disorienting. Oh, yep, there's a pipe down here. You need to make sort of, like, a leap of faith, per se, I guess. Then the Star Coins down here just jump. I don't think you... You don't even need Yoshi to get that. I didn't even use a Flutter Jump there. Oh, and to get off Yoshi, you just press the L or R buttons, or shake the Wiimote, I think. I'm, I'm, like I said, not, not going to be explaining the Wiimote controls. Oh yeah, you can also do the screw you Yoshi jump off a, off a cliff, or you can just do it in general like that, and he'll slide a little. You can get, gain some extra height like that. If you eat a Piranha Plant's Fire, or a Piranha Plant's Spitting Fire, which their official name is called a Venus Fire Trap, I think, Yoshi will spit back out the fire, and it'll kill enemies along the way. See, I'll, I'll even eat the, just the piranha plant here, and he'll spit back out the fire, and oh, I missed my chance to get stuff up there. Oh well, I can get stuff here too. Goombas, oh, these spinning platforms, they'll help you get to the goal. And there we go, one up at the top of the goal, awesome. And sadly, once you get to the end of the level, Yoshi, you can't take Yoshi with you into the map. Which is kind of stupid, if you ask me. They did that in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, too. And, oh, also, speaking of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, there's not colored Yoshi in the Yoshis in this game. Unlike there were in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I'm not going to go this way for right now. We can go over to this next level, the Rise of a Piranha Plant. But, yeah, there's not colored Yoshis in this game, which is kind of stupid. I mean, I don't really know why they did that. So, yeah, if you have four players, or... Well, four players, or... You can have a maximum of five, counting the gamepad. But you can't really have a Yoshi with that. Uh, yeah, you used to have, be able to have colored player or color, colored uh, Yoshi's. So I kind of wish they didn't take that out. I mean, they were they weren't that much of a feature, but they were kind of cool to have. So yeah, and also most of the most of this level is filled with piranha plants, as the name suggests. Rise of the piranha plants. So you want to make sure you pretty much have a fire flower at all times. Don't don't rush, just take your time through it, and you shouldn't lose your fire flower if you're careful. Oh, hammer bros. Uh, you usually, you can hit them from above, but I think it's best to try and hit them from below if you can, like this, which will knock them out, or it'll kill them, basically. You can also hit them a fire to defeat them. I actually missed all, th my, all three shots right there. And also, I don't think fire bros are nearly as bro- or fi not fire bros, I don't even- yeah, there's fire bros in this game. We'll be getting into those later. Hammer Bros. They're not nearly as broken as they were in like the earlier Mario Bros. games, like Super Mario Bros. and the Lost Levels. 
in that game, especially in lost levels, there were ones that followed you, and that was really, really extra annoying. <laughs> if you ever played that game, actually, I've gotten some far into it, but I've gotten far enough so that I've got into the to the uh, homing uh, hammer bros, and yeah, it's really annoying. I'm actually for this part here. I'm not really sure what they expect you to do here. Like, it seemed kind of awkward just to jump and shoot like that, but I guess that's what they expect you to do. And there we go, there's our star coin. It seems like there should be, like, a Koopa in here or something to get a to get that star coin. I think that was something they did in New Super Mario Bros. 2. They had, like, a color block area like that, and then they gave you, like, a bunch of piranha plants to kill with a Koopa shell or something like that. I, I don't really remember. It's been a while since I played that game because I don't really like it, to be told. And I guess since they were they were working on that game the same time they were working on this game, so maybe maybe they uh maybe they spent all their effort working on this game and didn't put any effort into the other one because this game is awesome. Yeah, I think I've said that before, but yeah, there's the end of the level. So I think uh, yeah, now that we finish this, we have another well actually two new mechanics open to us right here. Well, three, but one was open before. Uh, one is this lifehouse here. This is the first of its kind, I th yeah, that we've seen in the game. Each new New Super Mario Bros. game has a different lifehouse. You want to, or yeah, each, it has a different type of lifehouse, and also item houses, which is kind of creative. Like, each new New Super Mario Bros. game has different types of lifehouses, which I think is kind of cool. This one is cannons that shoots coins and life bubble things. You want to make sure you try to grab the lives while dodging the Bowser sim the symbols. And, yeah, each Bowser symbol will cancel out one one up. So, I, I, I don't think I got any one-ups there. Uh, yeah, I got one. If I don't get a Bowser one, which I did, but then I got another one. I think I got one one-up. Seriously. Maybe not even any. Okay, I didn't get any. Wow, I suck. <laughs> Although, um, I think it's better if you're trying to go for one-ups, to try and get the non-risky one-ups while avoiding the Bowser symbols, instead of trying to go for the really risky one-ups while trying to avoid the Bowser symbols, because most, more than likely you'll just end up getting a Bowser symbol anyway. Anyway, yes, this is a Piranha Plant level, and it's sort of like a, well, it's not just exclusively a Piranha Plant level, well, this one is, but I think it's just called like an overworld enemy type thing. You want to defeat them, I just used fire. That box that was up there held a star in it. You could also use that if you didn't have fire. You'll also get an item almost every time you defeat one. It'll usually be a star. Sometimes it can be mush mushrooms, or I think in New Super Luigi U, it has a more uh, variety of items, so that's good. Also, stars are probably the most useless items ever. Just saying, just because, especially in auto-scrolling levels, yeah, they're not really that useful. <laughs> So if I ever get my items full, that's probably the thing I'm going to be throwing away. But here we introduce Baby Yoshi. This is the pink one. Yoshi! Hey, I'm Baby Yoshi! Yoshi, you look like you know where to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. Yes, that's the reason he follows me. What if I'm like a Yoshi napper or something? What would your parents say? <laughs> I don't know. Mushroom Heights. This is actually... This Baby Yoshi is actually required to get a few... Uh, I think it's required to get one star coin. Unless you have the acorn soup, but I don't, obviously, and this level doesn't provide you one. It just provides you with with, uh, with fire flowers, if I remember. Anyway, this baby Yoshi's power-up, if you press R or shake the Wiimote, you can do, like, a... This Yoshi will, like, uh, make into himself like a balloon like that. And if you also notice, the baby Yoshis, they, like, sing along to the music when it's not bubbled up like that, which is so cute. I just love that. That's so awesome. Uh, yeah, so they bubble up like that. Uh, you can keep pressing it in the air, too, although eventually the Baby Yoshi will come down. Like, you you won't be able to stay up in the air forever. But yeah, this is the star coin that I was talking about. Oh, oh, I really want to make it to here before the Baby Yoshi runs out. It actually lasts a lot longer. The Baby Yoshi's airtime lasts a lot longer than I actually thought it did initially. Or it lasts a lot longer than it seems it would. I don't know. Maybe this game is appealing to beginners or something. Yeah, so this is a green ring. It's basically just like a red ring, except with three set or five sets of three green coins, except instead of eight red coins. And it gives you the same type of items. It'll give you a power-up if you don't have one, or a life otherwise. So yeah, it's basically just like a red ring, except green. <laughs> 
That's one way to describe it. Oh, jeez. I No, 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 no. Wait, what's up here? I don't know if I've ever been up here. What? Oh, it's just a life. Like, I don't know if I've said this before, but this, this game gives out lives like candy. Like, seriously. If you... If you ever get a game over in this game, it's it's just not natural. <laughs> like, I, I'm serious. I, I don't even know. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to let this baby Yoshi go because he won't walk off ledges. No, I, was, I wasn't trying to throw him over there. I was trying to throw him on this platform. They won't walk off ledges, so that's what I was trying to do. Oh, jeez. Anyway, we get our third star coin there. I, I don't think we need him for anything else in in this world, their level to be exact. So yeah, yeah, there's the end there. No more secret exits, we already got the secret exit for this level. And speaking of secret exits, now that we finished every other level in world one, it's time to go do the secret world level place. Yeah, that we unlocked in the last part after getting the secret exit in, world, in level two, just because I want to do that before we finish the castle. That way everything in world one will be completed. So yeah, what, is, what do you have to say? I was just getting star coins, lol. Yes, yeah, star coins are pretty easy to get in this game also. Not as hard as in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, like seriously. So yes, blooper secret lair. Acorn Plains blooper. It looks like it's a water world level. And spoilers, there's a water world in this game. But yeah, it's not. It's still part of Acorn Plains, technically. Oh, and if you have a pink baby Yoshi in the water like this, you can press R, or you can do the thing shake or press R or L, like how you would to make him puff up, and he will uh, make you like dash underwater, so that's kind of cool. Uh, bloopers, they will hide in these pipes here, while well, these ones will, some of them will just be free floating, and they will try to lunge out at you while these ones will, They will, and besides that they will also try to just basically lunge at you in general. Uh, I think, I'm not really sure if it applies in this game, I know it applied in the older Mario Bros games. But I think if I if it if the same thing applies in this game, you can uh, stand on the ground, and the bloopers can't get you because I for some reason they can't like touch the ground. Don't quote me on that if I'm wrong about it being in these games or the new Super Mario Bros. games, I guess. But um, I know it's in the the original games, so yeah. And also, I just love the detailing on these pipes underwater here in Mario 2. Just look at, look at the tops of these pipes here and how they shift when the pipes change. Oh my god. And the water, when the air was blowing on the, on the red coin uh, ring there and the red coin there. Oh my god. It just, it's so much detail on that life there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's probably the best looking new Super Mario Bros. game. I mean, obviously, it's on an HD system. I mean, it's the newest Nintendo console, but still, I mean, I just love the detailing underwater here. And yeah, if it wasn't obvious, those bubbles coming out of those pipes will push you. I guess I, some people would maybe not know that. I don't know. If you haven't played the game, it might not be that obvious. Or if you haven't played any new Super Mario Bros. game, it might not be that obvious. Uh, but these are like baby or mommy bloopers, I guess. Not really baby ones. They're half baby ones. Uh, you can just basically kill them. If you kill the mommy, it'll kill all of them. I think you can also kill the, the tiny bloopers individually as well. Basically, it works like the mommy sends out the baby bloopers and they can hurt you just like a regular blooper can, except I don't think their hitbox is as big. So yeah, uh, I want to get you. There we go. And the, yeah, I think I mentioned this before, when the air blows on any of the enemies or items or anything, it just looks so cool. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe I'm gushing over this way too much, considering it's only, like, a new Super Mario Bros. game. But I don't know. I just love it. I just love it so much. And I I don't know if I mentioned this either, but I love the music in this game, too. I mean, I know it only has basically one new track, and they remix it a lot in this game. But I love that track so much. I think I posted on Twitter when I first heard that song, the athletic version of the song. Uh, I think it was in a couple levels that we did already. It's like the really crazy tune. I think it played on the levels that we were in the sky-ish area with the crazy mushrooms before. Uh, yeah, by the way, this will take us to World 5, this secret shortcut place thing. But I'm going to be doing the levels in order just because that's how I'm going to be doing this, just for organization's sake. So yeah, and the music, like I said, the music, I just love it. Like that athletic theme, I could not stop listening to that. Like seriously. I think I posted on my Twitter that I, a while ago when I first heard that song, that I had been listening to that song for maybe like, 
maybe like three hours or so and I still wasn't sick of it. So yeah, let me swing back castle. Switching topics frantically. I love doing that, really. <laughs> so yes, this is the first castle of the game. A lot of, I think almost every castle in this game focuses heavily on the fact that if you fall, it's basically insta-death because of the lava. Also, just saying that there's a challenge in this game. I think I mentioned challenge mode at the beginning of the game here in the last part before we started the game officially. And there's a challenge where you have to get through this level um, using the acorn suit um, without getting any coins. So let's just say, and really fast too, so I'm... Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I, I think I'm, like, pretty much an expert at getting through this castle really fast and swiftly, especially getting all the star coins, too. Like, look at that. I just dodge those potaboos so much. Also, potaboos, I guess I could explain those, too. They jump out of the lava randomly, so yeah. See, look at that. Look at how I got that star coin. If you, if you didn't have the uh, flying acorn suit, though, flying acorn, flying squirrel, then you can, um... You can just hop on that platform there and jump up to get it. There was also a fire flower by that door there, like I said before. But I'd rather have my acorn suit here. And as you see, every Koopling has its own ship. And that's obviously going to be where we're fighting them. We have to shoot them with a cannon. Woohoo! <laughs> I, I don't know. It kind of feels like the cannon shouldn't shouldn't actually, actually like target Mario to the ship just because... I don't know, because the ship's like constantly moving. It doesn't feel right. I don't know. Anyway, this is Lemmy. He's he's bouncing on a ball there, and he shoots bombs at you. Those bombs won't hurt you directly, but their blast will. Like, if you stomp on them, or if they hit a wall, they will blow up like that. If you stomp on them, they'll blow up a few seconds later like that. And on the third hit here, uh, once he gets back from his shell form, and oh yeah, also all Kooplings, once they get hit once, they will, like, do the shell thing for a few tries, a few back and forths, if that made any sense. Oh, jeez, no, no, no. Yes, big bombs like that. So, yes, you want to hit him, and there we go, final shot. And also something funny, you can prolong the fight by just doing this with your flying squirrel suit. This is also part of the reason why I wanted to use it so much. Yeah. It's pretty fun like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm prolonging it long enough. I've done that for probably, like... Maybe like two or three minutes before once. It was kind of fun. Not really. It was actually kind of boring. But it's just fun to see how many ways you can trick out the game like that. And now that we've sent that Koopling falling to his death at 20,000 feet. As you see, he like, he like fell off the air airship there. But apparently he's okay because but he'll probably come back in later games. Let's face it. <laughs> So yes, we cleared all of World 1, and we got all the Star Coins and Acorn Planes. That's gotta mean something good, right? Well, definitely. We're on our way to 100%ing the game. I will save. So, I guess we can have a preview of the next world right here. Just because, yeah, Layer Cake Desert. It shows you, like, a little preview here. There's Boom Boom await awaiting us at his fortress. There's a Fire Bro and a Goomba, more overworld enemies. And there is Morton. So yes... That is going to be all for this part of New Super Mario Bros. U. So in the next part, we will be starting on Layer Cake Desert. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.